All right, what is going on, guys? Today, we are watching The Eminence in Shadow, episode 11. Um, in the last episode, I was curious as to why there was just a sudden increase in fan service, like, uh, pretty much in your face nearly every 20 seconds or so. Um, and, I realized, and then, obviously, you guys told me that that was kind of anime only, um, as clearly they just needed to fill in the gaps a bit um, as they were moving on to the second volume, I believe, which is cool. Um, so new part of the story, new volume, very cool. Um, Sid and Co have made it to the Sacred Land, um, in which he has uh, actually met up with Beta here as well. She is here being an author, stealing, plagiarizing stories from the other world. It's not really plagiarizing if they don't exist in this world, but Sid's like, hmm. <laughs> um, but yeah, really, uh, it was a fun episode regardless, even if uh, there was part filler in there. It was definitely fun. Um, looking forward to where the story goes from here now. So as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. And let's go into this episode right now. Yeah, dude's fucking ripped. God damn. Average male teenager in anime. He also has no nipples. They never do. It is definitely going to be a culture shock. If I ever go to Japan... I go to a, like uh, one of these or anything like that. It is definitely going to be a culture shock for me. Yeah! Alexis is just here. Or Alexia. Why are you humming so fucking loud, dude? Do you not see her? Is it a mixed bath or has he just walked into the wrong bath? Bro is straight relaxing. Open your eyes, damn it. Is that how killing machines give compliments? <laughs> A fighting ritual, say less. Damn. Well, never mind then. I mean, Sid is probably very worthy, so maybe they can take a late application. I want to see the warrior Sid spawns. Sid gives zero Fs. Yeah, just straight bobs on my screen. Bitch, I don't... He doesn't care. I don't care. She really wants him to join. <laughs> yeah, for real. Don't make eye contact. Yeah. My Excalibur? Yeah! <laughs> wow! Yeah! <laughs> Just dick out! Oh my god. In its sheath, I'm dead! Yeah, bro's packing. She's in that much shock. What the? <laughs> she gets some fucking booty juice all over her face? Oh my god. Why did they make that so epic? Why? Did she just do the same thing? Did she whip herself? Oh my god. I think normally ab about now we'd be coming to the uh, end of the first season nearly. But apparently this season's 20 episodes I think. So that's pretty interesting. Oh, Olivia's uh, the guy like uh, on the little keychain they saw. Okay. So they've, they're for real fighting, like, spirits. Okay. It's always the church fucking around in anime. It's always them. Yeah, and the zoom in on his mouth as he's smiling. Mmm. <laughs> I wonder if this guy did it. Oh, bait is here too. <laughs> Thank you for One Piece and Dragon Ball. Romeo and Juliet, you're such an amazing author. Yeah? Been hella fan service these last two episodes. <laughs> <laughs> she actually gave him the dead look. That was so funny. 
That's so funny. She's like, oh yeah, because she replaced herself as Alexia's character in her book. That's so funny. The most corrupt on the inside. That's literally what she just said about you. Damn, bitch, do you want to fight? Crazy how she'd probably fuck Alexia up as well. These warriors are going to come out the gate, turn around and be like, that random guy in the crowd, I want to fight him. <laughs> I just realized, if they're spawning like heroes from the past or warriors or whatever, is this not just fate? Are we doing a fate right now? Why is this guy dressed like a baseball player? Topper Batterius. Commemorative medal. <laughs> Background character exposition. Brad laughed. This dude just got sliced in half or something. Are they just trying to spawn the one warrior, Olivia, or whatever his name is? I mean, if no one spawns the warrior, you may as well jump in. I like how these guys are just constantly working. Take down evil in the world. Sid's like, oh, I wonder what I'm going to do with my day. I guess I'll go watch a fight. What a boring day. No one gets to fight any evil spirit or holy spirit, whatever. Sorry, what? Sorry, what? Oh my god. She put his name down. Oh my days. Now he has to get up from the crowd. Yeah, that's, this is an issue. This is an issue. What is he sending up in the air right now? Oh shit, he's gone in shadow mode. Confuse the matter. <laughs> Oh, who's this? Hey, yo, what? Bro, if he says I am atomic again, I will lose my mind. It's gonna be some crazy shit right here. <laughs> it is a pretty big deal, yeah. Yeah? Who are you? Olivia? Damn, she kind of bad. Is the episode gonna win? No, okay. Aurora? Yeah, like she just said. <laughs> so this is a pretty big deal. Yeah, you just keep your notebook in your boobs? Okay. But she's about to get added to the harem or something, I bet. Ah, let's go. Gas him up. Love to see it. Oh, like they're both smiling at each other. Cool. Oh, they're going to have so much fun with this. Wow. No ordinary Dark Knight. Shadow, however. With my deepest affections. <laughs> Damn, he hasn't fought anybody as strong as this in a while. What is he going to do? Oh, damn. Ooh. And she's happy about that. Wow. That was freaking epic. Yeah, he doesn't even want the medal. <laughs> LOL. Wait, what is this now? Oh, this is some evil shit. What's happening here? Some Yu-Gi-Oh shit? I activate my trap card? What's happening here? I like how the squad's already on, uh, on it. Okay, so that was the Eminence and Shadow episode 11. That was epic. Um... 
the, they, the warriors went into it trying to spawn the hero Olivier, uh, or however you pronounce that name. Um, and Sid ended up jumping in because <laughs> he didn't want to actually jump in a Sid and ended up spawning the most powerful witch in history, which is crazy. And then he decimated her with ease. This man is too strong. Strongest person in the world, probably. Um, he had a good fight, but uh, as he said, she wasn't actually at full strength. She was kind of chained down, I suppose. Um, so yeah, he just dealt, dealt her a swift blow. And now the Sanctuary has kind of answered him, I suppose, and recognized him for some reason. I don't know what's going to happen here. Um, but yeah, overall, a very good episode. I'm definitely looking forward to the next. Anyway, guys, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Have a nice rest of your day and peace out.